Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my main speed cubes as of the 1st of November 2012. Now I did a video like this back in August but I decided since the UK Open is in only two days I will show you guys the cubes and puzzles that I'll be using there. So I'll start with the cubic puzzles, I'm doing 2x2 up to 5x5 for the competition. Now 6x6 and 7x7 isn't an event at the UK Open, but even if it was, I wouldn't do it, as I'm very slow at 6x6 and 7x7, and I use V-cubes for them, and they both turn really badly. So anyway, for 2x2, I'm using the Type-C 2x2 or the Wit 2. Now this cube is really good and it is very fast. I just love the crisp feel to it and it just feels so nice to solve. The corner cutting on this puzzle is really, really good. It can cut 45 degrees no problem and normally it can cut over so it, it never ever locks up for me and it just solves really, really well. So for 3x3 I use the Diane Gu Hong version 2. Now this cube is amazing. It is so silky smooth and fast and it is one of the nicest feeling puzzles that I own. I always underestimated this cube but I have started using it a lot. And it is a really great cube. It can corner cut really, really well. And I just feel like I know the cube. It just turns so well in my hands and I can just saw really well on it. So for 4x4 I use the Sheng Shao 4x4 version 3. Now a lot of you may be wondering why I'm not using the Cubes UK 4x4. Well first of all the Cubes UK 4x4 is a white cube and I solve a lot better on black cubes. But the Cubes UK 4x4 is undoubtedly better than the 4x4 version 3 but I feel like I haven't quite broken it in fully yet and I haven't quite got the feeling for the cube. So I will definitely buy a black Cubes UK 4x4 when I can but I think I'll use this one for the competition. Now this cube is still very good, it is very very smooth and it turns really well. The only real problem with it is that it locks up a bit but hopefully it should be okay for the UK Open. The layers are really really smooth and I can get quite good times on this so it is a very good cube. So 5x5 five five, I use the Sheng Shao 5x5. Five now, this is the best 5x5 five five I have ever felt. However, I have only had an Isheen and this puzzle. It is so smooth and it turns so great. I have almost no problems with it. It is really, really fast and it feels so nice in my hands. It's just really, really nice puzzle to solve. The only real problems with it are that it is a bit small and it does lock up a bit. But apart from that, it is great. So onto the non-cubic puzzles, for Pyraminx I use the QJ Pyraminx. Now this Pyraminx is really good. It turns really well and all the sides turn equal. The only thing I don't really like about this puzzle is I think that the clicking is a bit much, but it does help with keeping the puzzle aligned. The only problem I find is that when I'm speed solving, the clicking can kind of put me off and it can make me do inaccurate turns because I'm worried about it not snapping. Uh, but apart from that, it is really good. I have ordered a Sheng Shao Pyraminx, but I'm not sure that it will be here in time for the competition. So the last puzzle that I'm doing for the UK Open is Magic. For Magic, I use the Lingal Magic. But I don't really do magic that often, so I'm not that good at it. I can get about 2-3 to three second solves on it. It turns okay, but I always find that the, the tiles lock up on this last turn here. And that kind of slows me down a bit, but I think that might just be me and it's not the puzzle. Like I said, I don't really do magic that much. Now I'm not doing this at the UK Open, but I will also mention Megaminx. I use the QJ Megaminx version 2, however I have ordered the new Diane Megaminx from the Hong Kong Now store. The QJ is a really good puzzle, it turns really well and it is very smooth and fast. I was going to do it at the UK Open but I am quite slow at it and I do need to improve before I try it at competition. Anyway guys, those are my main speed cubes as of the 1st of November 2012. 
If you want, you can leave your main speed cubes in the comments below or in a personal message. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.